There are a dozen of file format which exist in this world. Heck, you can create your own. Anyways, I will try to explain the most common ones, who and why created them, and some reasons because of which they got so popular. First of all, we have our favorite PNG, which is one of the most popular file formats ever created. It is an abbreviation of Portable Network Graphics and is pronounced as PING. It was created by PNG Development Group, also known as the PNG Team, a group of developers who worked together to create and refine the PNG format. The team included these people. A lot of software supported this file format as it gave very good quality. Therefore, it became quickly popular. Next on the list is JPG, also known as JPEG. The Joint Photographic Experts Group, JPEG, created the JPEG digital image format. And Joan L. Mitchell was a co-inventor, first published in 1992. It is also as popular as PNG, but generally PNG has better quality. JPG is good for photos and pictures with lots of colors. It makes the file smaller, but might lose some details. PNG is better for pictures with text, logos, or if you want to keep all the details. It keeps the picture looking sharp and clear. Next on the list is APNG, also known as Animated Portable Network Graphics. APNG is an extension of the PNG format, introduced in 2004 by Stuart Parmenter and Vladimir Vukicevich. It was designed to support animations while maintaining the same lossless quality as PNG. APNG is good for short animations, such as stickers or looping effects, while keeping high quality and transparency. However, it may not be as widely supported as GIF. GIF is better if you need broader compatibility, but it has lower quality and limited colors compared to APNG. Next on the list is GIF, short for Graphics Interchange Format. It was created by Steve Wilhite at CompuServe in 1987. GIF is one of the earliest image formats to support simple animations and is widely used even today due to its small size and universal compatibility. GIF is good for simple animations, memes, or images with limited colors. It uses a palette of up to 256 colors, which keeps file sizes small but limits its use for detailed images. APNG is better for higher quality animations with transparency and more colors but GIF is still more widely supported. Next on the list is WebPP, a modern image format created by Google in 2010. WebP is good for websites because it creates smaller files that load faster without losing much quality. JPEG is better for maximum compatibility, though WebP offers smaller file sizes. PNG is better if you need lossless quality and broad support, but WebP also handles transparency with smaller sizes. Next on the list is SVG, short for Scalable Vector Graphics. SVG was introduced by the World Wide Web Consortium in 1999. It uses XML to define vector-based images, meaning images are made of shapes, paths, and text, rather than pixels. SVG is good for logos, icons, and graphics that need to scale without losing quality. It's also great for animations and interactivity on websites. PNG or JPEG is better for complex images like photos, as SVG is not ideal for highly detailed visuals. Next on the list is PSD, short for Photoshop Document. It is the native file format for Adobe Photoshop, first introduced in 1990. PSD files can store layers, effects, masks, and other advanced image editing features. PSD is good for editing complex graphics, designs, and images, as it allows non-destructive editing with layers and tools. JPEG or PNG is better for sharing finished designs or images since PSD files are large and not universally viewable without Photoshop or compatible software. Here you have it. All popular image formats explained. Thanks for watching. Share the video if you liked it.